Okay, uh, Whiskey Juliet 6 America here. Uh, I want to show you uh, this uh, this MFJ uh, antenna pole. And uh, I'll show you uh, what I did to it today. Um, make sure this thing's done right. Uh, anyway, uh, these are... I don't know if you can see. Those are the plates. And it's nothing's really tight. This is the the ground radial plate and this is the driven plate i've got it locked in place and of course there's the pl259 connector uh i got uh what i got here is i got 20 uh 17 15 12 and 10 uh the one here that's uh not marked is 15 meters because i took off the the 40 15 linear loaded element because the top of my antenna, my Great Dane, broke the tip out of it. So uh, I thought, well, what can I do with a broke pole? It still telescopes down. So I'm going to work on making this really fast to, uh, uh, to be able to deploy like on parks and air. But the, excuse me having to hold on the phone a little bit while I do this. But I'll show you. This is very simple. I can unhook this. Probably need to drill that out. Take that one hook off, and I'll show you with one hand, I can set this whole antenna down. It's very, very, very easy to do. So I can make adjustments. And uh, this all it is, is I've got a little swivel base here I made. You can see it's all made out of junk stuff. And the base of the antenna just slides down in here in a piece of PVC that I've got bolted in there. And all I got to do is pull these rebarbs up and I can move this. Well, this is just something I made for out here. And you see, I don't have a lot of ground radials. And uh, these are my little plates that I made. Uh, they're made out of the same blue stuff here. It's uh, about a half inch thick PVC sheet. And uh, I stole this little idea from DX Commander. Didn't even know they made these little things. I'd seen them a thousand times, but never paid attention to them. And uh, I'm using... <coughs> excuse me, I just got over the flu. I'm using these cheap little bungee cords. Now, these wouldn't last in the weather for a long, long time. But for portable, they make it very easy to hook your elements back up. So that's what I'm looking at. And I'm going to do this a little better. But, uh, of course, you can go by your length. Uh, you know, like your shortest one, of course, is your 10. Your next longest one here, which is your 12. And you see, I didn't go to great, great trouble to uh, do a lot of fancy stuff. I'm just using tape. And, uh, uh, and my watch is caught. Then, of course, your next one is 17 meters, and the longest one is 20. And you can see my tip that got broke. My uh, beautiful Great Dane over there got the, the tip of the collar, uh, the tip of the, the uh, fiberglass pole stuck in his collar, and it scared him, and he took off running, and he snapped it. So it's really not his fault. But anyway, this antenna, I'll show you. It's very, very simple. I mean, you can see two fingers. I mean, it's nothing to putting this up. And uh, like I said, you can put this up with one hand, raise it back up. Let me uh, let me grab my thing here. I should have grabbed. It. Anyway, hold on. About sorry about the video. I gotta edit the video. Anyway, there it is. And uh, you can see. But this antenna doesn't weigh anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play around in here in the backyard, find a way to, to, to make it as small as possible. Now, I'm not using this for backpacking. Uh, I may because uh, what it is, if I can slide it down enough and keep the kind of wires in place, just kind of wrap them together. So all I got is pull it back apart uh, when I go out portable. Uh, then it'll be very, very easy to uh, take it portable. And what's beautiful about this is just, like I said, uh, you can use anything for ground stakes. I'm just using actual old army tent stakes. 
And once you get them lined up, which is very easy to do, uh, you just need three of them and just unhook one to let it down. And uh, I'm not gonna use the swivel base when I take it portable. I'm just gonna use like a little spike through the bottom of it. But uh, anyway, I just talked to Alaska on it. Uh, been making a lot of contacts. I'll post the, uh, the SWR graphs, but the SWR on every band, 10 through 20, is less than a, a 1.5. And so when you can go out with a single coax and uh, throw some ground radials down and all day sit there on parks in the air or whatever and have an excellent antenna with one coax speed, you don't have to worry about no coils or getting up and adjusting anything. It's, it's very nice. But the other thing I want to show, if you want this type of antenna and you are not good at building things or figuring stuff out, please, please, please go to DX Commander, and I'm endorsing his antennas. I don't own one, but this is a very similar to his design. He spent many hours, and what he did was like I had to do here. He figured out a way that if you put his kit together and put this wire here and this wire here and this one here and cut it a certain length and put this here, when you put it together out of his box, it's going to work, and you're going to have excellent SWRs. Uh, of course, I didn't use any of the same materials he did, so I had to make some different adjustments than what his would be. And uh, that's my uh, latest version of my 8-band that's made out of a 05 metal pole and it works fantastic and like i said i don't need two antennas of the same kind so i'm just out here playing around with this one but anyway 73s wj6a i hope y'all enjoy this if y'all got any questions you can contact me but these antennas are very easy to put together very very cheap and uh, like i said uh you don't have to spend a ton of money to have an excellent antenna